there are six groups of p block elements in the periodic table numbering from 13 to 18 boron carbon nitrogen oxygen fluorine and helium are present at the head of the group today we will discuss about group 13 elements group 13 elements are boron that is b aluminium that is al gallium that is ga indium in and thallium that is tl as the class which as the occurrence of group 13 elements on the electronic configurations atomic at the ionic radii ionization enthalpies electronegativities physical at the chemical properties of boron bare study karange occurrence students group 13 elements and their ores have been mentioned in the shown table ores of boron are borax kernite and orthoboric acid ores of aluminium are bauxite and cryolite ore of gallium is germanite whereas ore of indium is does helindite and ore of thallium is crookisite electronic configuration students it's time to look at the table showing group 13 elements their atomic numbers their electronic configurations and their electronic configurations with noble gas score also on the screen electronic configuration of boron with noble gas core is electronic configuration of helium core 2s2 2p1 electronic configuration of aluminium that is al is electronic configuration of neon core 3s2 3p1 electronic configuration of gallium is electronic configuration of argon core 3d10 4s2 4p1 electronic configuration of indium is electronic configuration of krypton core 4d10 5s2 5p1 electronic configuration of thallium is electronic configuration of xenon core 4f14 5d10 6s2 6p1 so the general outer electronic configuration of group 13 elements is ns2 np1 here value of n may be 2 to 6 from shown table it is clear that boron and aluminium have noble gas score gallium and indium have noble gas score plus 10d electrons and thallium has noble gas score plus 14f electrons plus 10d electrons this difference in their electronic configuration affects the other properties and chemistry of all elements of this group atomic and ionic radii ao isnu ek question de sahayata nal discuss kariye why atomic and ionic radii of group 13 elements are smaller than that of group 2 elements is the jawab e hai while moving from group 2 to group 13 in the same period nuclear charge increases new electrons enter into the same shell electrons in the same shell have very little screening effect thus effective nuclear charge increases as a result size of atom decreases for example let us see electronic configuration of beryllium is 1s2 2s2 and boron is 1s2 2s2 2p1 
beryllium is having two electrons in its inner k shell and two electrons in its valence shell or l shell boron is having two electrons in its inner k shell and three electrons in its valence shell or l shell when we move from beryllium to boron along the periods new electrons enter into the same shell in boron electrons in the same shell do not screen each other thus effective nuclear charge increases hence the electrons are more strongly attracted towards the nucleus resulting in decreased size of the boron atom similarly we can say elements of boron family have lesser atomic radii than corresponding group 2 elements students is vikhaye ja rahe table vich atomic radii of group 13 elements and ionic radii of tri positive and mono positive ions of group 13 elements darshaye ja rahe han atomic radius is shown to increase from boron to thallium but gallium is shown to have low atomic radius than aluminum atomic radii increase from boron to thallium it is due to addition of a new electron shell with each successive element but there are some deviations too as atomic radius of gallium is slightly lower than that of aluminum reason is gallium follows immediately after a row of 10 transition elements gallium therefore have 10 d electrons which are less efficient at shielding the nuclear charge than s and p electrons poor shielding of nuclear charge result in the outer electrons being more firmly held by the nucleus that's why atomic radii of gallium is slightly less than that of aluminum now we will discuss ionization enthalpy students group 13 the elements the ionization enthalpies group 2 the elements nalo kitne lower hundi hai is de karan is tarah han first ionization enthalpies of group 13 elements are much lower than that of group 2 elements the reason is that group 13 elements have three electrons in the outermost valence shell but if we look at their distribution in various orbital we see that out of these three electrons two exist in s orbital whereas one exists in p orbital electrons in the p orbital are less tightly held by nucleus so require less energy to remove it while group 2 elements have ns2 outer shell electronic configuration so electron is to be removed from s orbital s orbital electron is more penetrating towards the nucleus so more energy is required to remove an electron from s orbital as compared to electron present in p orbital let us explain it with the help of beryllium and boron beryllium has electronic configuration 1s2 2s2 and first ionization enthalpy of beryllium is 809 kJ per mole and boron has electronic configuration 1s2 2s2 2p1 and first ionization enthalpy of boron is 800 kJ per mole 
reason of decrease of first ionization enthalpy of boron is firstly the configuration of beryllium is more symmetrical than that of boron secondly in beryllium electron is to be removed from valence s orbital while in boron electron is to be removed from valence p orbital as s electron is more nearer to the nucleus than p electron that's why s electron is more penetrating towards the nucleus and is more strongly attracted towards the nucleus hence it is more difficult to remove it so more energy is required to remove an electron from s orbital than in p orbital hence the first ionization enthalpy of group 13 elements are lower than group 2 elements as this process requires less energy a stable which group 13 elements the first second third at sum of three ionization enthalpies vikhaiyan gaiyan han ionization enthalpy is the units kilojoules per mole hai on moving down the group 13 from boron to aluminium the first ionization enthalpy decreases it is so because of two reasons one an increase in atomic size and two increase in screening effect which outweighs the effect of increased nuclear charge first ionization enthalpy of gallium is only slightly higher than that of aluminium while that of thallium is much higher than those of aluminium gallium and indium the decrease in delta h one value from boron to aluminium is quite expected because of the bigger size of aluminium atom but the element gallium has 10 3d electrons in its 3d subshell which do not screen the valence electrons as much as screening is done by s and p electrons therefore there is an unexpected increase in the magnitude of effective nuclear charge resulting in increased delta h1 value thallium has higher value of first ionization enthalpy than indium reason is thallium has additional 14 4f and 10 5d electrons which cannot screen the valence electrons effectively this results in unexpected increase in the effective nuclear charge resulting in increase in first ionization enthalpy of delta h1 value of thallium electronegativity group 13 elements the electronegativities is table which highlight kitiya ja rahi han electronegativity it depicts that electronegativity decreases from boron to aluminium and then increases from aluminium to thallium it is so as we move from boron to aluminium the atomic size increases as a result attraction of the nucleus for the electrons decreases and this is the reason of decrease in electronegativity but again if we move from aluminium to thallium due to poor shielding effect of inner d electrons in gallium and indium and inner f and d electrons in thallium the effective nuclear charge again increases as a result force of attraction of the nucleus 
for the electrons increases and hence the electronegativity increases from aluminium to thallium. Group 13 elements the melting point irregular pattern the sound the hai. They neither show regular increase nor decrease. Ajeha, boron, ate gallium de unusual crystal structures de karan honda hai. Melting points decrease sharply on moving down the group from boron to gallium and then increase from gallium to thallium. Boron has high melting point because its crystal structure consists of icosahedral units. These units get attached with each boron atom at its all the 12 corners. Thus, it exists as giant polymer in the solid as well as in the liquid state. Gallium is shown to have lowest melting point because gallium consists of almost discrete diatomic molecules and solid gallium is comparatively less dense than the liquid gallium. Gallium exists as a liquid up to 2270 Kelvin temperature and is used in thermometers which are used to record very high temperatures. The elements aluminium, indium, thallium have close packed structures. Boiling points of group 13 elements show a regular trend and decrease regularly. Density Increase in densities of group 13 elements are due to a corresponding increase in the atomic mass of the element which overweighs the effect of increased atomic size. Oxidation states The elements of the boron family have NS2, NP1 configuration. So, these elements are expected to show a uniform oxidation state of plus 3. But the first two elements, boron and aluminium, show plus 3 oxidation states in their compounds. Gallium, indium and thallium exhibit both plus 1 and plus 3 oxidation states down the group from gallium to thallium. In gallium and indium, the effective nuclear charge increases due to poor shielding effect of electrons in intervening d orbitals and in thallium, the effective nuclear charge increases due to poor shielding effect of electrons in d and f orbitals. So, nucleus attracts the valence S electrons tightly. Thus, in heavier elements of group 13, the tendency of valence S electrons to take part in bond formation decreases. This reluctance of the S electrons to participate in bond formation is called as inert pair effect. As we move down the group, the stability of plus 3 oxidation state decreases while stability of plus 1 oxidation state progressively increases. The relative stability of plus 1 oxidation state for group 13 elements progressively increases in the shown order. Thallium is shown to have higher tendency to show the plus 1 oxidation state than indium which have higher tendency to show the plus 1 oxidation state than gallium which have higher tendency to show the plus 1 oxidation state than aluminium. In thallium, plus 1 oxidation state is predominant while its plus 3 oxidation state is highly oxidizing in character, electropositive character that is metallic character. Students, it has been seen that group 13 elements are less electropositive or metallic as compared to alkali and alkaline earth metals. This metallic character first increases from boron to aluminium and then decreases from aluminium to thallium. Boron is non-metal 
as it has the highest sum of first three ionization enthalpies that is 6887 kilojoules per mole. It has little tendency to lose electrons and hence is least electropositive amongst group 13 elements. Thus, boron is rather a non-matter. On moving down the group from boron to aluminium, the increase in the metallic or electropositive character is mainly because of bigger atomic size and smaller ionization enthalpy of aluminium. When we move in group 13, from aluminium downwards, we find in gallium and indium the intervening 3D and 4D electrons cannot shield the valence electrons effectively and in thallium additional 5D and 4F electrons cannot shield the valence electrons effectively. In case of gallium and indium due to weak shielding effect of intervening D electrons effective nuclear charge increases and in thallium due to weak shielding effect of intervening D and F electrons effective nuclear charge increases. Thus, nucleus attracts the valence electrons tightly which results in lesser electropositive character in these elements. Let us now discuss about chemical properties of group 13 elements. Reactivity towards air. High temperature utte group 13 the elements atmospheric oxygen naal react karke trioxides E2O3 banaunde han. In these chemical reactions E may be boron that is B, aluminium that is Al, gallium that is Ga, indium that is In and thallium that is Tl. On moving down the group acidic nature of oxides decreases and basic nature of oxides increases. Boron trioxide is mainly acidic. Aluminium trioxide and gallium trioxide are amphoteric while indium trioxide and thallium trioxide are basic in nature. Boron is unreactive in the crystalline form. Aluminium does not react with dry air. In moist air, its surface gets tarnished and appears dull due to formation of a very thin oxide layer on its surface which also protects the metal from further attack. Amorphous boron metal on heating with oxygen forms boron trioxide. Amorphous aluminium metal oxygen are react karke aluminium trioxide banaunde han. Boron metal high temperature te nitrogen are react karke boron nitride banaunde han. Aluminium metal reacts at high temperature with nitrogen to form aluminium nitride. Reactivity towards acids and alkalis. Boron reacts with only concentrated sulfuric acid and nitric acid at high temperatures to form boric acid and nitrogen dioxide. Other members of group 13 elements not only react with non-oxidizing acids but also with oxidizing acids. Aluminium is shown to react with dilute hydrochloric acid and liberates hydrogen gas. When aluminium reacts with concentrated nitric acid, it becomes passive. It is due to the formation of a thin protective layer of its oxide on the surface which protects it from further action. Boron reacts with potassium hydroxide above 773 Kelvin temperature to form potassium borate and hydrogen gas. Aluminium being amphoteric reacts with aqueous sodium hydroxide and water to form sodium tetra hydroxoaluminate and hydrogen gases evolved. Reactivity towards halogens. 
elements of group 13 react with halogen at high temperature to form trihalides of general formula MX3 except thallium triiodide X may be fluorine, chlorine, bromine and iodine. We shall discuss the trihalides of boron. Due to small size and high ionization enthalpy, boron forms covalent trihalides. These are boron triiodide, boron tribromide, boron trichloride and boron trifluoride. It is time to discuss structure of boron trihalide. Boron in ground state is shown to have two paired electrons in 2s orbital and one unpaired electron in 2p orbital. While in excited state, it has one unpaired electron in 2s orbital and two unpaired electrons in 2p orbitals. In boron trihalides, central boron atom is sp2 hybridized with vacant unhybridized 2p orbital. The hybridized sp2 orbitals are directed towards the three corners of an equilateral triangle. The three half-filled p orbitals one on each halogen X overlap along their internuclear axis with three sp2 orbitals of boron to form three sp2 p sigma bonds. The unhybridized 2p orbital is empty and lies perpendicular to the sp2 hybrid orbitals. This empty 2p orbital can accept an electron pair from electron donor species that is Lewis bases. Halogen X may be fluorine, chlorine, bromine or iodine. All these trihalides are Lewis acids due to the presence of only six electrons in their respective valence shells. Lewis acid is a substance which can accept a pair of electrons. The Lewis acid character of trihalides of boron decreases in the shown order. Boron triiodides are more acidic than boron tribromides which are more acidic than boron trichlorides which are more acidic than boron trifluorides. Boron trifluoride is least acidic. Its reason can be explained on the basis of back bonding. It is the tendency of the halogen atom to back donate its lone pair to electrons to the electron deficient boron atom by the side wise overlap between one of the filled orbitals of halogen atom and the vacant 2p orbitals of boron atom. This is called as p pi p pi back bonding. Back bonding is the most effective in BF3 because 2p orbitals of fluorine and 2p orbitals of boron have comparable energies. With increase in the size of halogen atom, 3p in chlorine, 4p in bromine and 5p in iodine, the extent of back bonding progressively decreases. Thus, Electron density on boron atom decreases and the acidic strength increases. Thus, boron trifluoride is least acidic because of increase in electron density on boron atom and due to effective p pi p pi back bonding while boron iodide is maximum acidic. Aluminium halides are also covalent in the vapor state. Covalent halides of aluminium exist as dimer. Let us see dimeric structure of aluminium chloride. It has two aluminium and six chlorine atoms. Each aluminium atom accepts a lone pair of electrons from one of the chlorine atoms attached to the aluminium atom 
in the neighboring molecule to complete its octet. Students, hun sama hai to ID knowledge check karanda. Try to answer some questions based on today's discussion. Mera pehla sawal hai, white fumes appear when bottles containing anhydrous aluminum chloride is opened even for a fraction of time. Explain. And the answer is, anhydrous aluminum chloride is partially hydrolyzed by atmospheric moisture to liberate HCl gas. Moist HCl appears white in color. Well students, I hope that कि तुम्हानो आज दाय पाठ काफी इंटरेस्टिंग लग गया होएगा। त्यान देन ले तनवाद। अगली बार एक हो नमे विषय नाल फिर मिलांगे। उदों तकले इजाजत दियो।